Good morning. Today is Friday, April 8th, 2022. This Shabbos is Shabbos HaGadol, the great Shabbos, the big Shabbos. We discussed certain aspects of it earlier this week. It's the Shabbos before Pesach, which is a week from this Shabbos. This Shabbos, Shabbos HaGadol, is a Shabbos of spiritual and intellectual preparation for Passover. And just as a practical matter, over this Shabbos is a perfect time, especially if it's raining and it's not so good to take a long walk, but it's a perfect time to start to be thinking about what we're going to say at the Seder. Maybe to read through one of the commentaries to the Haggadah. To think about the discussion we want to have, the questions that we want to ask, how we want to present to the people who we hope will be at our Pesach Seder. To prepare our own questions to ask at the Seder. On this special Shabbos, which in a formal sense kicks off the Passover celebration, we have this Shabbos morning a special Haftorah, special in honor of Shabbos Agadol, the Shabbos before Pesach. It's not connected to this week's Torah portion, the Parsha Mitzorah, but curiously, there is no overt mention or reference to Pesach or to Yitzhiyah Mitzrayim Exodus. And on the surface, it's very difficult to figure out why this specific passage should be read on this specific Shabbos, especially since it was specifically chosen for this Shabbos before Pesach. Why this passage? It is, in fact, a passage from the prophet Malachi. And the prophet Malachi was the last prophet. So, in order to understand why this passage is chosen for this Shabbos, let me start by asking a question that was asked by Rabbi Meleb Biederman. Rabbi Biederman asked the following question. On the night of the Seder, in every Jewish home around the world, how is it possible that no one calls the police? A crime has been committed in every single Jewish home around the world. At the Seder, a crime is committed. Stealing. Someone stole the afikomen. How come we're not calling the police? It's a very good question. The answer is because stealing the afikomen was planned. We knew it would happen. We know it will be returned. And not just returned, it will be returned with presents. Because that's the game that we play at the Seder with our children. Children steal the afikomen and hide it, the piece of matzah that we eat at the end of the meal. And then we bargain with them and offer presents for them to return it to us so that we can finish the Seder. And it's a game that keeps the children awake and interested and involved even late at night at the Seder. Okay, that's a cute thing. We don't need to call the police. We know what's happening. Yes, there's a crime of theft, but we know how it ends up and it's going to end up with presents. So that's okay. It's cute. But it's also a very deep lesson. And it's a deep lesson for every one of us while this children's game is playing out with the Afikomen at the Seder. It's a lesson in how we should look at life. 
all of life. Every difficulty or setback that we face in life, this children's game with the afikomen is the key to how we should look at it. Because every setback we face, every challenge we encounter, it was planned by God. We don't know why. We don't understand it. But it was planned by God. And we pray it will turn out okay with presence and blessings just like the Afikomen. That's the lesson that we are teaching our children and the lesson we are reminding ourselves of as this game unfolds at the Seder. The Haftorah this Shabbos is the last passage in all of Tanakh it is the ending of our written scripture. The last prophecy. The last prophet, Malachi. His last prophecy. In other words, what we read this Shabbos is the last direct communication from God until Mashiach until the Messianic era, when that type of direct communication with God is reinstituted. We have this Shabbos morning, the last communication we have directly from God that will sustain us, that does continue to sustain us through our long exile, and through the turmoil each of us as individuals faces, this is the message we are given in order to make it through whatever we are going through. And the message is, from this Shabbos' Haftorah, Zichru Torah's Moshe Avdi. God says to us, remember the Torah that I, God, gave to you through Moshe. Hine anochi sholeach lechem ese liyo anavi. Times are difficult. You're going to go through challenges. But remember, in due time, when I decide it's right, God says, Hine anochi sholeach lechem ese liyo anavi. I am going to send Elijah the prophet to you, who is going to announce the end of this era and the beginning of the Messianic era. It's going to happen. I am going to send him at the time that I choose, God says. And at that time, the heishiv lev avos albanim, and the heart of the parents will be returned to the children, v'lev banim alavosam, and the hearts of the children will be returned to the parents. There will be resolution. There will be harmony. There will be existential calm. God says to us in this last message that is to sustain us through this entire period and still sustains us now, God says to us it will be bitter. There will be difficulty and challenge. And you won't understand why, God tells us. But always remember, says God, it's part of a plan. My plan, God says. And it will end. It will pass. And it will end with presence and blessings. This is the message we start Passover with on this Shabbos before Pesach. And this is the message we express and act out at our Passover Seder. My friends, I want to wish you a great day and a beautiful Shabbos.
And I look forward to seeing all of you soon in person.